Hey, family, it's Brother Marlon. Happy Monday to you. It's a motivational Monday. I want to talk about Black History Month. You know, it's coming up in a few days. And yesterday on my radio show, I had a great opportunity to talk with Brandon D. Alamante. He's the program coordinator from the Office of Special Events for the city of Pittsburgh about what the city is doing this year for Black History Month. Beginning this Thursday, February the 1st, the city of Pittsburgh is going to celebrate Black History Month with a salute to the Freedom House Ambulance Service. They were founded in 1967 in Pittsburgh's Hill District. Freedom House Ambulance Service was staffed entirely by black men and women. Thanks so much for having me on. Um, you nailed it. Yeah, we ha- we're celebrating the Freedom House Ambulance Service this year uh, for the city's Black History Month event. Um, there's a whole team effort coordinating this event, and uh, we have something really special prepared featuring uh, historic photos uh, from you know emergencies in the street, um, as well as physical materials uh, that you'll actually be able to come down and see, sort of uh, old equipment, new equipment, uh, and different things like that to really give people a sense for uh, you know what the era was like and some of the things that these men and women were able to accomplish. So as as I was reading some of the history behind it, this is the first emergency medical service in the states, not just the city of Pittsburgh, the United States that staffed paramedics with medical training beyond first aid. So talk about the importance of that. That's absolutely right. And it's incredible. Uh, You know, I've been organizing this event for the last five years or so, and I'm always blown away uh, when I get to explore a topic like this and the rich history that we have here in the city, uh, including Uh, That's correct. The nation's first uh, EMS service um, started right in the Hill District. And it's just incredible to, again, get to feature topics like this and the incredible history we have here and the importance of that service being started here that laid the foundation for EMS uh, as we know it today. Uh, It was not being done or it's only being done the way it is today, I should say, because of the men and women who were able to implement um, Dr. Saffer's uh, CPR methodology and everything that he was able to implement. And Phil Hallen is another uh, one of the founders of Freedom House Ambulance who saw the need to provide employment opportunities for people who weren't getting a fair shake at um, opportunities and were considered to be unemployable, um, whether they had a criminal record or maybe they didn't finish high school. And Freedom House Ambulance Service gave opportunities to men and women who had other, otherwise been deemed as um, you know unemployable. Wow, I this is exciting for me. Um, two reasons: one, because I'm going to be participating with you uh, on Thursday, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But I grew up watching Emergency. I'm dating myself. I know that. I don't know if a lot of people remember that show. Used to come on. Me might be able to find it on YouTube, but it was a emergency fire rescue type show uh, right before I think it was before chips even came out um, based in California so I went to the uh, Steelers game in LA this year and I saw one of those vehicles um, that used to come on and it used to have the, the sound and that was just always exciting for me to see that so to, to see this display and knowing that the connection here in my own city Pittsburgh PA uh, started here, I'm really excited about that. But talk about this Thursday. It's going to be a big reception. Uh, I'm going to be hosting um, at the city county building. Uh, Talk all about that. Who's going to be there and why people should come and be a part of this. Sure. So February 1st, we have our opening ceremony planned and it is open to the public. Uh, It's from 530 to 730 in downtown Pittsburgh at the city county building. Um, So be sure to stop by. Light refreshments will be provided. But more importantly, We'll have many of the figures um, that have been interviewed for a month long display that we'll be featuring online as well. Uh, you'll get to meet some of these people in person, including uh, former Freedom House paramedic and assistant chief of EMS, John Moon, uh, who will actually be providing a keynote address uh, along with our mayor and current chief of Pittsburgh EMS, uh, Amir Gilchrist, who um, is the first female African American chief. Um, Absolutely. Pittsburgh EMS. So it's uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, there's going to be be a lot of um, uh, celebrating going on as we have these historic figures uh, and the shoulders that we stand on now uh, to see, you know, Chief Gilchrist sort of as our chief and, and to be able to celebrate, you know, the legacy that she'll leave behind as well. 
Absolutely. I, I was fortunate. Um, I, I take pictures. Uh, I cover the Steelers uh, from time to time. And one of my first games, um, I, I was able to get a photo of her. And uh, it was just, you know, really good moment. Uh, but she's done some amazing work and just honored to have uh, the first, uh, along with our first black mayor here in the city, uh, Mayor Ed Ganey. And so it's going to be a great event. Looking forward to being there with you on Thursday. And also, as you said, this is a month long exhibit and people can come down, talk about how people can come down, when they can come down and what, you know, all they're going to see. Yeah, so it, it, the opening ceremony is on February 1st, but this display will be open for the whole month of February. So you right. can catch it in the city county building, um, you know, five days a week, 8 to 6 p.m. Come down, peruse the display. Like I said, we have photos, we have memorabilia, and we'll also have, um, a TV screen down there that'll be showing videos of interviews that we conducted uh, with former Freedom House members, with our current chief of EMS, Chief Gilchrist. Um, you mentioned emergency, which Kevin Hazard uh, is someone else we interviewed who he released a book on Freedom House Ambulance Service. Um, and he mentioned the whole reason that he even found uh, Freedom House Ambulance Service was because there was a gap between uh, sort of uh, where EMS started and how we got to a show like emergency that he said, you know, motivated a whole generation of people to get into EMS. And that is what got him interested in sort of exploring, well, who even started, you know, EMS? How did it even come to be? And uh, that's what this display is all about. And we're really excited to have it down there. And we hope that everybody can come down and, and see it in person. Absolutely. And did you mention that they'll be able to see videos online as well? That's right. So you can follow us on social media at PGH Events Office. Uh, we're on X, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, we'll be releasing content every day throughout the month of February there. And you can also catch it at PittsburghPA.gov uh, forward slash events. And that's where you'll be able to see uh, a lot of the videos linked right to YouTube. So you can find that stuff on YouTube as well. OK, great. Brandon, thank you so much. We appreciate this. And we're looking forward to not only Thursday, but the entire month to be able to celebrate this rich history that we have in Pittsburgh and the Hill District. And um, we're so thankful for all your hard work and continued uh, success, with all that you do for the city. Well, and thank you for your support. You know, we couldn't do it without AARP as our presenting sponsor this year. And of course, to have Wemo as our media partner. It's a it's a match made in heaven. So thank you. Absolutely. We're happy to be a part. OK, family, I hope you got all the information beginning this Thursday and throughout the entire month of February. Come down to the city county building in the Grand Lobby, 414 Grant Street, downtown Pittsburgh. See the Freedom House Ambulance Service on display. Don't miss the grand opening ceremony this Thursday, 530 p.m., hosted by yours truly. And you'll be able to see the exhibit for the entire month of February. All right, family, please like this video, share it with your friends and family and make plans to be a part of this historic display in our city of Pittsburgh.